Good morning, everyone. It is Mrs. P. How are you guys doing today? Today is June 19th. I am going to do my budget check-in. And um, yeah, there was some things that happened this week that kind of threw a little wrench on our budget. But you know, that is life. That is to be expected. Um, I do want to say happy Juneteenth to everyone out there. It is a momentous day in uh, our history. So um, just want to do a shout out there. Um, let's see here. <sighs> okay, where do I start? Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you a uh, little sneak peek because you're going to see it over here on the unbudgeted, but you're going to see um, where we had to pull in money from our savings as extra income. Um, this weekend, um, this past weekend, was a busy weekend for us. We had my great nephew's birthday party, our anniversary, my husband and I celebrated 27 years, and we had Father's Day. <clears throat> so, Saturday... As we were, um, or as I was, getting to the birthday party, I tried to get there a little bit early to help my niece with all the uh, preparations for the party. I pulled into their driveway, and my great nephew, he's four, uh, came running up to the side of my car, and he says, you have a flat tire, which, you know, I didn't feel like I had a flat tire, but sure enough, I opened my door, and I could hear the whoosh of air coming out of my uh, front uh, driver's side tire. And here's the dogs. They think I'm talking to them. Uh, and I don't know what happened, but I blew out the side of the tire. Didn't run over anything. He said he said it was the sharp mulch that did it, but it was not. It was just, um, I don't know, some fluke with the tire. Uh, the tires are not that old, but regardless... I had to order two new front tires, so those are going to be put on this Friday, and uh, so that was an expense we weren't expecting. So, I'm going to go ahead and, <clears throat> there's my frog. <laughs> I need to name him just like we did the nickel. All right, so our rollover came in under what we were expecting at nine ninety. no, see, I'm already messing up. I'm watching the dog as she, as she finally laid down. Nine twenty four fifty nine. Uh, Mr. P's check came in a little bit higher at one thousand fifty four forty six, and other we had to pull in four hundred and seventy dollars from our savings from our emergency fund because we do not have a tire fund. I have a car maintenance, but that was nowhere near what could cover the tire, which brings me to the point that I, I don't know should I keep the emergency fund for things like that or should I have a sinking fund for tires I think I'm just going to call the emergency fund like any kind of major car upkeep and we'll just have to rebuild it so anyway $2,449.05 was our income which looks good there, but knowing that we had to spend a lot of money on tires, I know that that's not going to be a good thing. So, um, Geico came in at $28.59. I couldn't remember. I knew it had gone up a little bit, but um, I had budgeted $30, so I was pretty close. And Apple Music came in for $11.76. And our total here was $40.35, leaving us with $2,000. $408.70. Okay, so I'm going to bring that total down here. $2,408.70. Um, sinking funds and saving challenges, we took out exactly what we were expecting. And that was $363, leaving us with $2,045.70. Oh, I'm not even in frame. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so maybe I'm zoomed in too much. Okay, so now our, our expenses here, um, 2045, let me move this up here, 70. All right, so groceries, we did take out 150, 20, 20, 30, 60, 20. Eating out, we had budgeted money for Father's Day, so we didn't spend money out of the account for that. 
gas. We did go over on gas. It would have been perfectly fine because I just filled my car up on Thursday when I blew the tire out on Saturday. So my car had a full tank of gas, but because I still had to have a vehicle this week, I've been driving my husband's truck to take my daughter to cheer practice. And so I had to put some gas in the truck. Usually my father-in-law is basically the only one that uses the truck, so he keeps gas in it. But when I got in it on um, Monday, it needed gas, so I went ahead and filled it up. It didn't need a whole, I mean, I, it didn't take a full tank of gas. It was like down just below a half, but I don't like to let it go that far. So anyway, and $10 for miscellaneous and the tires, $469.82. And that's just for two tires. That just seems crazy to me that they're so expensive. I know when we bought tires, the original four, that we got on it and I had purchased those from Walmart and I, I can't even remember like even what season of the year it was when we got them but I'm thinking was it really around a thousand dollars for tires but I don't think it was I'm thinking I spent maybe 800 so maybe they've gone up that much I don't know does that seem normal to you guys that much for two tires okay so this section was 849 82, leaving us with $1,195.88. And we will move that down to the debt section. And I had that I was going to spend $70 toward the snowball, but I actually did not because we had already paid off the Barclay card. So I didn't need to put that toward it. And I am not, I, because of everything that happened, I decided to, to wait and work on our next debt once we see how this week pans out. So that leaves us with a balance of $1,195.88 to go in to the last week of June. So that is our rollover. Okay, so I am going to now do our check-in with the expenses that we had. So we did really good on groceries. But it did help that we had a birthday, uh, Father's Day, things like that. And we, we ended up not even celebrating our anniversary uh, because of the tire issue. It just kind of threw everything off. Um, I just didn't feel like going out. And that was okay. You know what? We, we are the par part of our marriage where we are just as happy to sit and watch TV together and eat popcorn and just, I don't know, be at home rather than going out to some fancy place. So, we still have our gift card. We haven't used it yet, so we'll, we'll use it eventually. All right, so for groceries, on 613, I went to Walmart and spent $97 on groceries. And that is all we spent on groceries. So, we have quite a bit of grocery rollover, and I was not expecting that because um, we had not spent that much the week before that on groceries. So, I guess me being home, I don't know, I don't know what it, the difference is while we're not spending as much, but that's just building up our Sam's, you know, fund so that we can purchase meat, and that's what helps keep the grocery bill down. Okay, so that was that. Guess. No, let's go ahead and do pets. We spent... Uh, at Walmart, $26 on pets. I'm just going to go ahead and mark this off. Household, uh, $47. Uh, this was a very spendy week for household stuff. We had to get toilet paper, so I got a big roll or a big pack of toilet paper. Um, let's see here mouthwash. I'm trying to, like, go down the aisles and think of what I spent all that money on. I don't know, but that's that's what it was. All right, so eating out, nothing. Um, gas, two expenses on gas. I got my gas, which will help us, I guess, in um, the long run. So once my tire gets fixed, I have a full tank of gas. 
And then on 617, I got gas for the truck for $40 and just filled it up. Okay, so that's gas, that's gas, and tires. Okay, so the unbudgeted expense was on the 15th, and that was from Walmart. And I'm gonna put tires here. So I remember why it was four sixty nine eighty two. Okay, <clears throat> so that is our check-in for the third week of June. I did have somebody ask in the comments about like how I spend money from my wallets and things like that. And something I've never really showed on here before, and I know a lot of people do it because I know that um, Stephanie at uh, Miss Summer's Budgets does it and uh, gosh, who else does it? Maybe, I don't know, Marlene might do it, but they, they track their expenses. And so, this is something that I've not really shared because I just didn't think that you would be interested in it. But because we are not exclusively cash with everything, I mean, in this day and age, it's really hard to do that. I have like a system where I will write down the expense once it hits the bank, and then I pull the money from the correct envelope. So I'm gonna zoom you in so you can just see. And I just keep up with it. And once it's been redeposited back into the account, I will mark it off. Now, I also have like in this section, it says bank, and that means I'm just gonna put the cash back into the bank account. And this section says card. So let's look here, Amazon. So I have an Amazon credit card and I get rewards points when I use my Amazon card but I don't keep a balance on it. I just pay it off as soon as the, say, okay, so my nephew's birthday present I ordered from Amazon, it was like $39 and some change. And so I marked off, I, I put this money in the bank and then I paid the credit card so that there's not a balance on there. So I don't, so we still kind of use our, our credit cards, but only the ones that give us like, rewards points. So it adds up like I know that I was able to save money on his gift because it was actually probably around $50, but because I had those rewards points, it brought it down to 40, if that makes any sense. And I just saved those points up. Another one, um gas like um Walmart, I got gas. I use I, right now um Discover has a promotion for you get an extra 5% if you use their that credit card on gas expenses, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out. And um, so I use, I've used that for the last couple months for all of my gas purchases. So I've ended up saving money on gas and that becomes like a buffer, I guess, in our account because I'll deposit, say the gas expense was $40. I'll put the $40 in the account and then once, you know, I find out how much I owe the credit card, it could be $30 because I've got all that reward money saved up. And so that gives us a little buffer in our account. And I just move the buffer into like a savings account that's attached to our our bank account, our checking account. And that that's given us like a little bit of a cushion just in case, you know, something crazy happened. Like for instance, the tire, had we not, you know, had money there, we would have had to wait and pull it out of our savings account from the ally account. Uh, anyway, that's how we do things. I'm sure that everybody's pretty much familiar with this type of, you know, tracking your spending. Um, but this is what I do. So there's that. I just wanted to share that with you. I just thought, you know, you might be interested in how, because I can't say that we're completely cash spenders because, you know, I'm, not always, like if, if say we're going to McDonald's, my husband does this a lot. He'll use his uh, app on his phone, which you have to pay electronically, but he gets like specials and discounts by using the app to purchase the food. So then I just take money from his blow money or he has like a separate savings account that he puts his extra money into. So I just transfer it over. So anyway, that is how I do things. In a nutshell. 
All right, friends, I am going to go ahead and get off of here. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, my next video will be my meal planning, and so I will see you then. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the candle over and say goodbye, friends.